Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike, the explosive one. And we got a special guest with us this week, the detective. Yo. Welcome Here to the we show. Go. Yo, and welcome to the show. So TNT, I hear you got something for us today. I do, man. I'm just going to read a headline and maybe a little bit of the first passage here. Okay. But the headline states, AI clones teen girl's voice. And a one million dollar kidnapping. Scam. I saw this story. <laughs> oh, you know? all right. So uh, apparently, an, an AI took segments of a girl's voice, and it was an Arizona mom claims that the scammer used AI to clone her daughter's voice so they could demand a one million dollar ransom for her as a part of a terrifying new voice scheme. I've never doubted for one second it was her. Just the distraught mother mother said, "It's insane." The girl was on a ski trip. She was on a ski trip, and that sounds like a Dateline episode just waiting to happen. A Dateline, exactly. What was that guy's name from Catch a Predator? <laughs> Chris, Chris, Chris Hansen. Yeah, he's going to yes, come out. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Brother. So now they're cloning people's voice. See, and this is the thing. This is the thing. Is that they've come out with new regulations for AI when it comes to copyright. Right? Okay. But uh, that does not mean that all the other nefarious ways that AI can be used. Is that even a crime? Is oh, it- well, here's the thing, dude. They can say all day that AI is not going to be used for mal- mal- maladaptive purposes, but then you let a guy who is not following the law get a hold of AI, and he's going to do whatever the hell he wants with it. It's like, let Kim Jong-un get some f- get some goddamn AI bots, and he'll be out here just, like, doing whatever he wants to do with them. Just imagine this. 30, 40, 50 years from now, how it's going to look, it's like, Imagine talking to some of your, like, anyone you want. Anyone who you think is a mentor from, like, 50 years ago, they died, and you're like, oh, what would they tell me? Oh, hey, just just bring in their voice, and you can. it's like having them in your ear. You can have Jerry Sandusky from Penn State. Oh, wait. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sorry, wait, the wrong guy. Wait. Julius Caesar. You can have John Benet Ramsey. In your, <laughs> this is the thing is that, yes, you can have the sound of their voice in your ear, but it's not really them. It's like AI deciding from all the compilation of things that it can find on, on the internet, something mm-hmm. that would be, I don't know, close to something they would say. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And that's, that's all chat GPT is. Well, yeah. It's yeah. like those videos where they put like Trump or Obama or whoever mm-hmm. on them. It, like, it, it's the next wave, man. It's like, you're going to, you're like, like your mom can die and like 20 years later you can be like hey mom what are you having for breakfast and she's gonna be like son remember how much i hated you every morning when i cooked you breakfast and it would be like oh man mom you've never changed even though you're dead isn't that what you'll do <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's not what it would do see so i had this oh. idea years ago where it's like well, maybe not my idea but i'm sure someone no, no, thought of doing it where oh, it's yeah. like you know how you can pretty much why wouldn't celebrities license their voices to then put them in these like various AI personalities, I'm sure they would make a killing. Okay, so now see, Bruce Willis Mm -hmm. actually did give rights because he's actually going through some health issues. Yeah, well, yeah, he has like, he's like, not dementia, but something along those lines. I think he has like Alzheimer's or something along Mm -hmm. those lines. Either way, he knows that he's, 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 uh, he's going through some health issues. So he actually gave the rights for them to use his likeness and his voice in future movies. Oh, Hologram mm. Tupac and Hologram Bruce Willis coming out together. Honestly, oh. honestly, further solidifying that, you know, his children, his children, children, children will be okay. Man, Morgan mm-hmm. Freeman should just read the entire dictionary and then they can, like, just have him narrate movies for the rest honestly, of it. Honestly, there's probably enough Norman, Norman Freeman, Morgan Freeman uh, sound bites out there where they could already do it. The voice of God. Right? Yeah, dude, I mean, he might as well be. I don't know. I kind I don't like nobody's going to try to steal me for a million dollars. It's never going to happen or anything I own because there's no money in it. But it is kind of frightening to think of that. There is a world where somebody could take your voice and make you say anything. Was that lady rich? Because like if somebody if I had a kid and they're like a million dollars for your kid, be like that kid ain't worth a million dollars. I mean, dollars. you said she was on a ski trip. What does that tell you? I Maybe mean, poor people go on ski trips. Poor people do not go on ski trips. I've never gone skiing. I've never gone skiing. I've never been skiing either. And we all broke. (laughs) So, all right, all right, all right. You're right. You're right. But, like, 
here's the thing that I don't get is wouldn't she have just tried to call her daughter? Um, see, now that's what they tell you to do. Um, True. Honestly, you know what's weird is that I honestly just had some training from my from my from my job, the place I work, where they were trying to alert us to some of the the online scammers and stuff. And they were like, if if you receive an email or a call from the somebody, phishing emails, yeah, oh, yes. have that issue at my job all the time. They're all like, da da da, phishing. Watch out for. And then they, yeah, and then the what fishing. they do, and then what they do is they're like, over the course of the next few weeks, we're going to be sending out test emails, and we need you to report them as phishing. So like they know who the idiots are at the company because they're. Like oh my password click and dick and dick and do. And see, there's a good reason for that though because people are up stepping it up, man. As programming becomes more prevalent, people are stepping it up. I had and those emails at my last job. What they, they, if they caught you, they sent you to a link and you had to do some kind of training. And they uh, put it, they're like, all right, you have to get this training done by a certain amount of time. It was so If annoying. you click the phishing link, it takes you to the yeah. training. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you have failed the training. You must you take this again. <laughs> yeah. oh, you just outed yourself. <laughs> it, no, it was my coworker. Oh, your, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. This guy I knew at work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. happened to him. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know, man. I just think that if that happened, I would call my kid. And if my kid didn't answer... I would call my kid again. And if they still didn't answer, I'd call the ski lodge. Brother. I'd call the French. I'm not just going to be like, hey, I'll give you a million dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I if mean, they were like 20 bucks, I'd be like, sure, what's your Venmo? I mean, honestly, it got to that point. I don't really, I feel like it was kind of like a shot in the dark. It was like shooting your shot. The, the guy was like, well, I know they got the money. Let's give it a <laughs> shot. Maybe she'll fall for it. Maybe I mean, she'll my be grandma so gave her credit card number out over the phone before, so. Oh, Jesus, man. Oh, oh that's not a good one. That's so awful. Why? Because she said they asked for it. <laughs> oh. She goes, I go, Grandma, why did you do that? She was like, well, they called and they said they whatever they needed. And I was like, so you just, <laughs> just gave it to them over the phone? We just, we just need your credit card number. <laughs> this is like the whole, you, you know, they say, hey, don't give your social security number out. And then everyone's fucking asking for it. Yeah, yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> I don't. It's I don't so know. annoying. She's I don't like, even know what the importance of a social security number is. What does it even do? It doesn't do anything. I mean, just, it gets you your social you security. Know. Nah, brother. It's, it helps. That's how you get loans. Nah, that's how they keep track of you, dude. It is how they keep track of you. Yeah, they it's turn, they turn identifying it. number beyond. All right, exactly. let's say if someone else has the same first and last name than you, but it's like, all right, now we just need a social security number so we can know exactly who this person is. It's your, uh, it's your, your history. It's your social credit score. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's it sounds, it sounds like some Auschwitz bullshit, if you ask wow. me. Wow. What? Wow. Is that what, what it's like? That's what living in America's like? I feel kind <laughs> of. Wow. Maybe. Wow. Wait till, uh, wait till the knock comes at the door. They're going to be like, see, catch your diary. That everyone's going to read it in high school. For I'll, make I'll make an apology. I'll make an apology. I'll watch 21 Jump Street. Yeah. Oh, just, yep. There you go. That's how you solve everything. I've never <laughs> seen it. It's sounds quite, like it's a romp. It is. All right. That's fair enough. Good. It's quite good. Have you, uh, you got a plan? <laughs> do you think plan. in our lifetime we will see full fledged autonomous robots AI that walk around in public as, as their own entity? What do you think, Detective? I want, I, I'm, I'm gonna say if it happens, it's gonna happen towards the very end of my lifetime, maybe my, maybe my last decade. Mm -hmm. What if they were sex robots? <laughs> <laughs> well, see, no, they that's walk gonna, around and they just well, have sex with that's people. That's going to happen first. <laughs> yes, people are more about having people sex are going to prioritize that over you know the. They're the, like, we can have a robot that, bartender, or we can yeah. have a sex robot. Sex see, robot wins. They're going to have the sex robots before they have the robots <laughs> that clean your place for you. <laughs> that's, mm. a, that's insane. Hold but on a second. The cleaning robots are coming second, though. Man, if they have cleaning robots, oh, oh man. Well, honestly, it makes sense that sex robots will come first, because if you think about it, what's the one thing that you can't really buy in America? Where are you looking? I mean, look, you can, but it's illegal if you get caught. So you're already like, you know, you toe in that line of going to prison if you oh, try yeah, to buy yeah. it. If you want so, to quit, if you want to have some, some. It's the only thing you can't get on the free market. So it makes sense that it'd be the first thing. Only to if you get caught. Only if you get caught. Yeah, but they say okay. Here's yeah, don't the go thing, to man. divas. Here, here's the, here's the thing. I don't. I I can't imagine they're gonna come out with lifelike robot flesh what that you you're gonna that you're gonna be like. Flesh? I want to have this sex robot, and it's actually gonna feel like it's you're having sex with a person. A cybernetic organism. Yeah, it's a cybernetic organism. What if we get living tissue? What if we get them to donate their body to science, and then they just put a 
that make him uh, I don't a, like where this is going. Dro- I don't like the face the detective just made at me when I'm <laughs> and Andre, he this made is the connection. And this he was is like, Skynet experimenting. <laughs> Come on. He looked at me like, oh, this sounds like a good idea. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Anyways, go to crazynow.com and subscribe. That's all the time we ever did this episode for Jonas. TNT and the detective. We're out. <laughs>